Hi and welcome to rjpassini.com. Bringing you another money saving tip. Comes from my favorite website, Frugals for Less. Never pay 100%. Today's topic for August 27, 2018 is 12 life hacks that will save you money. Isn't that what life is all about, folks? We work and then we come home, we want to save money, we want to buy that new electronic gadget we always wanted or maybe go for a bigger ticketed item like a car. It's always something with money, right? We always need to save money. We always got to put money away for a rainy day. So today, I just want to go over this here and um, it's the title of it's 12 life hacks that will save you money. And it goes on to say, for some people saving money, does not come easy. You want to save more, but you end up splurging on seemingly little things that all add up to one in a big way at the end of each month. To become true, it goes over here, to become a true penny pitcher and a mega saver, you have to really commit to making uh, changes, certain changes in your life. Money saving starts with the right mentality and continued effort and a dive to save. You may want short-term or long-term saving goals, but just trust me when I say it, that once you're starting to see your savings account grow, you won't have to overlook, over, I should say overthink the process of saving money will be as easy as one, two, three. But anyway, let's point out some of the highlights here. It goes over here, choose more to do with less, right? Um, it goes on over here, it says the first step in saving more money is making a list of expenses of your expenses. A list will show you where your money is going and where you could, uh, can reasonably cut down on spending habits. For a lot of people, this is a big lifestyle change as it mean, a mean giving up a lot of fun things in your life. You know, folks, um, today the problem, like I, I, you know, you guys know I did videos on um, credit card debt and stuff like that. And you know, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I think the last time I looked at statistics, I, I'm not sure, but I think credit card debt was one of the highest, <clears throat> I think next to um, college tuition. I think it's in the trillions with, with credit card debt, you know. And the problem today is, what rises today is that people don't want to wait to save up. They want it, you know, if you have a credit card that has a decent credit line on it, you don't want to wait a year. You know, we live in a world where we have to have it now. We need it now. I can't wait a year. I want that electronic thing before. We're going. You know what happens when people think, yeah, but by, if I buy Tom, I save up for that year. That'll be outdated. And then a new item will be coming out, especially electronics, the way they're changing. Well, every, what, six months to a year, they're always coming out with new stuff, you know, better, bigger things, you know. Cars have more bells and whistles. Cell phones have more bells and whistles. But, you know, simple is good. In some cases, you know, what do you need? What do you need to have that upgraded iPhone? Or why do you need that new car? What's wrong with the old one? Does it get you to point A to point B? You know, people, people just love to spend money. You know, and I said in one of my other videos, my dad used to have the saying, money is hard to make and easy to spend. You know, you think what you did, you know, what you have to do to earn a living, working 40 hours a week. Uh, my, my dad got rest, so he, he had a, he had a job. You know, uh, in his younger years, and uh, it was you know because he chose a different path in life. He wasn't much of an office worker, but he chose kind of like on the the labor side of it. But later on, he did go back into a, a different position within the company he worked for. But um, you know, when you're thinking about how hard you work, 40 hours a week, 45, 50 hours a week. Some people even work 60 hours a week. And then to go blow a paycheck on something that's not really need, you know, not necessarily needed. It's just a, a thing to say, well, I have it type of thing. And, and more we keep going and saying, I got to have it, but you don't do anything with it. What's the sense, you know? So for me, my take on that is, folks, as I say, a man with less has less to worry about. <laughs> it's true. Um, you know, if you have, the more credit cards you have, the more likely you're going to get in trouble with them. Because, you know, when you exhaust one credit card, you'll end up jumping to the next one. Then when you exhaust that one, you'll go to the next one. Or you'll be applying for new cards. 
And the reason why you're applying for a new car is because you exhaust the other three or the other four. And, you know, it's a spiral thing. It just keeps going. It's a fictitious cycle. You know, and that's why people you hear they end up uh, in sixty, seventy, ninety thousand dollars in credit card debt because they didn't know when to stop using them, and they keep applying for different credit cards. You get different credit lines. I think American Express. Don't quote me on it. I think they have one that has an unlimited um, credit line. If I'm not mistaken, I I thought I heard it seen uh, say unlimited. I mean, of course they're going to base it on your salary when you apply for it and stuff like that. But could you imagine having a credit card like that? Not me. I wouldn't. Uh, I, I wouldn't want a card like that. I, like I said, I've been in that, 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 that credit card crunch thing, and I don't want to ever go through it again. But anyway, just to share that with you. But again, choose to do more with less, you know. Uh, exactly. You know, um, try to save money if you're going to buy stuff. Don't be too quick to whip out that plastic because later on it's going to come back to bite you. I'm going to basically highlight some of the stuff in here and then I'm just going to talk a little about it and then, you know, we'll call it a day with this here. This one here is go zero waste. Zero waste is the idea that quite literally minimizes all the waste in your life. <laughs> this mainly includes trash, packaging waste. By choosing it to embrace a zero waste lifestyle, you automatically start saving more because you'll do, my, I'm sorry, my screen just jumped here. <laughs> you'll do, I'm sorry, where am I here? Uh, you will have more to do with a lot less. Touching uh, back on tip number one. Uh, living at zero waste means giving up the box of cereal you love to buy because all the cardboard, <laughs> all the cardboard box can be recycled and the plastic bag around the uh, cereal can, uh, cannot. <clears throat> all right, well, they're just trying to tell you here, I guess uh, what they're trying to express here is to, um, you know, hold off on buying certain things the way I see it, uh, you know, how to save, you know, how to keep the, uh, you know, waste down, you know, recycling and stuff. But again, I don't want to, you know, expand too much on these here. You could check it out for yourself. Let's go to the next one over here. Thrift shop. I like this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it says Macklemore not only gave you more, uh, gave you a really catchy song, but he's also he was also giving you a big tip. Thrifting uh, shopping is a saver's best friend. And this is true. Uh, it says if you're on a budget, but your kid needs a new pair of shoes, check out your local thrift store. If you have a job interview and you can't afford a fancy tie because no job, right? Go to the thrift store. You can find a Calvin Clyde tie uh, in amazing condition for only three bucks. You know, again, I, I don't want to expand too much, but you know something? This is so true. Um, I go to thrift stores. I haven't been going to them recently, but when I, have, when I do go to them, uh, I do see designer stuff there at my local thrift stores. And believe me, they are so reasonably priced. You can get a Calvin Clyde tie practically new for like around that price with that with this statement over here. Um, I know my thrift store sells ties like that for that price. It depends if it brand spanking new, they sell the labels on them, they might be a little more than three bucks, I assure you. But you're not gonna pay nowhere near would you if you went to a department store like Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue or Lord and Taylor or any of those high end targeted uh, department stores. But um, you know you can save money on that. It's so true. Um, I like, I, like I said, the, the thrift stores, you can get good, some pretty good stuff there. And, and, you know, a lot of people, like think around the assumption that when you go to a thrift store, you're necessarily going to buy something used to use. And it's not necessarily the fact. Uh, I went to thrift stores and I bought brand new things. You know, little chachis, uh, electronic gizmos, cameras. You know, they're far and few, but you can find them. You can find brand new stuff there at a thrift store. You just got to look, you know. But anyway, let's see the next one. Shop seasonally. Shopping seasonally can be uh, can be applied in two categories: food and clothes. When you shop seasonally, uh, you are essentially shopping for healthy and cheaper options. When it comes to food, particularly produce uh, produce, shopping seasonally will ensure that you aren't paying higher prices for the food you enjoy. And then it goes on to say that means during the summer you in, uh, enjoy the strawberries and grapes, but let them go in the winter. Uh, in the winter, then you could, uh, this is winter here, then enjoy uh, acorn, squash, pumpkins, but ignore the blueberries and blackberries. <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, I, I think when you do shop seasonally, I think you can save on some cases as opposed to getting stuff that's imported and stuff. I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but, uh, you know, but, you know, you, you got to be thrifty today. We have a couple of farms like uh, 
around our area, John's Farms, and there's another one called Pat's Farms. And um, the produce there and their fruits and vegetables are a lot cheaper than, let's say, a local department store, without mentioning names, but um, like the store that I have around my area is pretty expensive when it comes to produce and uh, fruits. But um, if you go to a local farm, like those stores, and they're not on a, they're not a farm, but that's what they call them, John's Farms and Pat's Farms. They're not like on a farm farm. There are stores like in a local shopping area, but you know those are the names they call them. But you can get produce, like I said, uh, you know, vegetables and, and fr fruits and stuff like that for a good price, a lot cheaper than the uh, the other departments, uh, the other I should say other supermarkets. But uh, that's something to think about. It's moving right along. Shop in bulk carefully. You've probably been told the exact opposite, but shopping in bulk is not always a good way to save money. Bulk shopping is a bit a gray area when it comes to saving money. Sometimes the phase, the more you buy, the more you save is a total gimmick. You can, in fact, spend more on items that come in quantity you probably don't need. Well, you know something? That's true, folks. You gotta really assess your situation. I mean, if you're a family of four, family of six, family of eight, then you might wanna go to those stores, Sam's Club, you know, you might wanna check into things of that nature and see what uh, works for you, you know? Um, anyway, um, those are things you could check out, you know? Like, I, I think me personally, I'd rather just shop at my, you know, like a regular store and get my stuff I need as needed, you know? But uh, anyway, let's move to the next one. <clears throat> Start using coupons. Who don't use coupons? I do. I love coupons. I use them all the time. Uh, I use them for when I go to Burger King, McDonald's. If I could buy one, get one free, why not, right? <laughs> um, it pays, you know? But, uh, you know, it is what it is, folks, you know? I, um, I like to, uh, you know, be thrifty, a thrifty sh uh, saver, you know? So uh, for me... It's, uh, it's good to use coupons. I think everybody should use them if you get the chance. Some people I know, I got a relatives that they don't really care for them, but you know, coupons do add up, believe me. Uh, there used to be a, a show on there about a lady, I don't know if they did a show on her. I don't know if she was the coupon queen. And I don't know how she did it, but she would go, well, I mean, I know she did it with the, with the coupons, but she would go into a supermarket and uh, if I could find that clip, I'd put it up there. I don't know, I have to see if I can find it. Uh, I probably won't be in this, this segment here, but uh, another one. And she would buy groceries, and the bill might come out to be a hundred and something dollars, and by the time she gets through with all the coupons, the bill's like, I don't know, like maybe half of what, she's, what she spent, you know, what the, what the total bill was. I'm like, my gosh, I go, you know, I, I can't believe, like, you know, you get the bill that down that much, you know, but it's true. Uh, if I can find that clip, and I'll, I'll share it with you guys. I think they call it a coupon queen. I know there's a story like that, but when I seen the savings that she was saving money like that, just, you know, giving coupon. Then on double coupon days, she really did all right, you know. But, um, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good thing to do, though, folks. If you could do it, use the coupons. Then over here, it says over here, sign up with your local grocery stores. And uh, it says here, this may seem like a given, but you save more when you sign up for the rewards cards at your grocery store. Um, I have the card. I have a grocery store card like that, and you do save money. Uh, the store I deal with over here, um, well, for those, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's kind of free advertisement, right? Uh, Stop and Shop, they have a card there, rewards card, basically, and um, you sign up on their website, and you can load up when they have sales on your card. You don't have to cut. You don't have to cut coupons out or anything. And you load them up, you go to the website, and it'll say load on card. Let's say it's vegetables, fruits, or certain things you eat. You know, it's funny because, like, you know, when they say Big Brother's watching, um, it's true. Um, <laughs> Big Brother, in a way, is watching. But, you know, in the supermarket, it's funny because when I go to the website, they know exactly the type of food I buy, and they, they, they put coupons on there. And well, all I got to do is load up the coupons on my card, and uh, I don't have to take out, you know, I don't have to take physical paper with me and give it to them. It's already on the card. So that's pretty cool in that respect. But, um, yes, I would definitely sign up with that. If your local grocery store does that there, you might want to check into a rewards card. At least Stop and Shop has a good thing, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I think there's only a total. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just looking over here. See me Shopping online. You know, Stop Shop. Oh, okay, Stop Shopping online. I was going to say Shopping and Stop. Um, shopping online is ridiculous. It's so ridiculous easy these days. Uh, you don't even need to get up and dress um, in the morning. Is your phone 
<laughs> as your phone is basically one big sh uh, shopping mall at your disposal, which is true. Um, you know, you can get yourself in. It's just like having a credit card, you know. Go using a, using your phone or whatever just to shop online is crazy. Whether it be your computer, or your phone, I see it all the time. When I was on my was I was in workforce, uh, I used to see people all the time on their phone, and you would ask them, "What are you guys doing over there?" You stop by the corner, you're like, "Oh, I'm ordering this, I'm ordering that, and stuff like that." And you know, uh, I'm not one for doing that. There, you know, um, it's true. And I'm reading, I'm looking at the article as I'm talking to you guys over here. And it says, oh, the easy way to curb your online shopping is to first hit the unsubscribe button. You may have bought one pair of shoes from DSW, but now the flash sale and emails won't stop flooding in your mailbox, in your inbox. It's true. Not only in your inbox, how about your mailbox? I get advertisements because I shopped in the past. Not, not stuff for that, but, you know, from other, you know, like affiliate links. Uh, and it's ridiculous. You know, and they, and they entice you, you know, it's like, oh, you can get this for this such a price. And, but me, being the frugal person I am, I just discard it and throw it in the garbage. I don't bother with it. I, I, I'm not going to get involved with it, but you might want to keep that in mind. All right, let's move right along. Give up your coffee. Hey, folks, I can't give up coffee. I love coffee. It tells me I'm kidding. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I heard. No, he's kidding. Uh, it says, I'm kidding. You definitely need not to give up your coffee in order to save money. But do not give up your mocha frappa, uh, your mocha frappa mumbo jumbo. Uh, those coffees, uh, those coffee houses are literally sucking the money out of your wallet. And it's easy to discredit how much they actually are spending when it comes, uh, when it is only, a, when it is only a four dollars here and there. That all adds up. It's true. Um, not me. I used to bring instant coffee to work and I have people like ew instant coffee that's disgusting well let me tell you so I like my Maxwell House instant coffee okay they did have a Keurig machine there at my place but what would happen you would have to buy the Keurig cups and they're not that cheap okay and if you're a big coffee drinker that likes to have maybe two three maybe four cups a day that goes quick you buy those little Keurig things there in a package there some of them I, I don't know exactly I don't own a Keurig I don't really care for the machine no offense to people who own them I like my conventional, uh, we used to have a Mr. Coffee, but we kind of like gave that up. So now it's just basically, you know, Maxwell House Instant Coffee. I know a lot of people are saying that's disgusting, but to each his own. Um, I like your boiler water in the teacup, in a clear teacup, uh, teapot. And uh, when it boils up, I throw one teaspoon in there and I'm good to go. I love it. I love the coffee. I love Maxwell House anyway. Uh, we did have a coffee maker, like a Mr. Coffee. Uh, we would buy Maxwell House coffee anyway. So, you know, the only difference is instead of Maxwell House where you're cooking in your Mr. Coffee machine, you're making it in an instant, right? One teaspoon to a cup of hot boiling water and you got yourself a nice coffee. But anyway, it goes on to say here, the average specialty, uh, specialty drink costs around four bucks, which comes to 20 a week, spent at your favorite coffee shop, that's over a thousand spent in a year for, on coffee. So it's true, folks. You know, if you could do it, brown bag it, same thing with lunch, do it. Because all that adds up, you know. I do. I used to when I was working in the corporate world. I always brought my own my own uh, coffee, and I brought my own lunch. I always brown bagged it. And you know, people say, yeah, but you can afford to eat. It's not that. It's I have. I like to save money, you know. Uh, to me, savings is a big thing. So especially, it's not only that. I'm also frugal. <laughs> Here's another one. Number ten. Give up your gym membership. I don't have a gym membership. Now, Planet Fitness has a thing where for $10 a month, you can get to use the, um, what do you call it there? The, uh, the gym for $10 a month. You get access to the gym there. And if you bring another person, they think it's an additional 10 I don't use the gym. I'd rather go cycling, buy a set of uh, free weights, work out in my garage or down in the basement, whatever, and do my own exercise and save the money. Okay. Now, even like you said, well, the course, like I said over here, it's showing you here. It says going to a gym is a luxury, um, is a luxury many cannot uh, cannot afford. The average gym membership can cost where uh, anywhere from 20 to 50 a month, and that's with that including hidden uh, annual fees. Um, you're better off. You're better off going to, um, you know, do your own thing instead of, instead of going. You know, you go to your go to your garage, turn your garage into a gym. You know. Do that, but it's 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 crazy though. It really is. I mean, you could do your workout in your basement. You know, you could do all that stuff. But then it goes on to say the good news is um, is that when you give up your gym membership today, you can have free personal trainer tomorrow. Sounds crazy. Check out YouTube. There are tons of them. You can. 
and you get you can get a free trainer or you that's right YouTube if you need a trainer just go on YouTube you can find them for free right I know I that's what I would do but uh, that's something to give up you know that's something to think about and let's move right along here do it yourself when possible chances are that there are several items you buy by monthly or bi monthly that you could probably be making a lot uh, for a lot less uh, it says below is just a few do-it-yourself items that you could actually uh, do to save money in the long run okay toothpaste <laughs> uh, a box of baking soda a jar of coconut oil and a small bottle of peppermint essential oil and you're set for full clean mouth on a budget okay now this here okay it's not bad to do that but <laughs> folks let me just put it this way as a frugal person um i would think you would spend more money buying that stuff those three items than you would if you went to the dollar store i go to the dollar store by me and i get a tube of and i i'm talking about a nice size not a small little travel size tube a regular tube of ultra bite i think they have colgate i think they have a different couple of brands there for a buck okay so for what they're telling you here it's okay if you got it laying around the house, but if you were to go out and buy baking soda, coconut oil, and pepper essential oil, essential oils, you know, that's totally up to you. I mean, me personally, eh. Now here it says, oh, your value size box of baking soda shouldn't cost more than eleven dollars, and a quality and quality coconut oil will retail for about twenty. But that's less. Uh, but that's le that lasts forever. As a little uh, as a little goes a long way, and the decent essential oils will cost around eight dollars, folks. Believe me, if it comes to toothpaste, go to your Dollar Tree and you can pick one up for a buck. A nice you can get a regular size toothpaste. I mean a toothpaste thing. They're not the travel size. I know people say yeah for a buck it's got to be the small trap. No, it's not. Believe me, I kid you not. If it was, I would be the first to tell you. Believe me, it's not. Um, here's another one for all-purpose cleaner. Use a box of uh, use a box of baking soda mentioned above, and mix it with a bit of water and a broom, and you have instant cleaner for your sink, toilet, and bathtub. Simply make a semi-thick paste and scrub as usual. Again, now the, what I'm what, the things I'm going to tell you here, folks. Again, honestly, you can go to your your local dollar store and you can get the stuff. Big a big bottle of cleanser, Mr. Clean. They have all different types there. At the, at least a Dollar Tree by me for a buck. Same thing with toiletries. Okay, you need shaving cream? You can pick a can of shaving cream up. Body lotion, hair conditioner, lip gloss, coffee. That's where I get my coffee at the dollar store. In some cases, if I run out, if Maxwell House is not available, um, I've had it. Very good coffee. No problem with it. You know, deodorant. Same thing. You can go to a dollar store and get deodorant. All right. You don't have to use baking soap, whatever, however they have it. Let's see what they say. This is this one is tricky. Not everyone may be down for it, but baking soda, coconut oil, and essential oil works as a deodorant too. <laughs> Start with an even mixture of coconut oil to baking soda and adjust accordingly to your needs. Um, I'll pass. Thank you, but I'll pass. Uh, I'm not going to rub baking soda under my arms <laughs> or use a coconut oil essential oil. Uh, I'll go to my dollar store and get a big thing of... Uh, a regular size uh, jar there, what do you call it there, of uh, deodorant for a dollar without going through all of that. And let's see that here, cook more. Meal planning is a surefire way to save money. Not only will you eat less, you will also spend less at the grocery store as you go shopping with a list of only essentials that you need for the week. Okay, of course cook more. You know, cooking, eating at home is the best thing for you anyway. Why would you want to do anything else? Why would a person want to go out to eat when you could go eat at home, you know? You know whose hands are touching the food and preparing it, right? That's uh, the way I feel about it. Again, I'm a frugal person, so for me, frugality <laughs> plays a big role in my life. I know a lot of people don't like frugality in some cases, but I do. And if I can save money, I'm going to do it. And I believe that's it. It just goes on at the end here. It says, start making changes today. Okay, and when it says over here, whether you choose the following, whether you choose to follow any of these tips, is up to you if you start making um, start making one or more of these life staying changes today you will be on a road leading to a better vision a version of your better version leaving you of a better version and a better version of your bank account say well my friends of course well I mean look 
I like to save. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I think savings, you know, it's a great thing, you know, when you could put money aside every week. Uh, I teach my kids that there, you know, they both landed some nice jobs. And I told them, now that you're into your, you're setting your careers, put money away for the future, you know, try to save money and, uh, you know, why not? You know, save it for a rainy day. You know, it's not how much you make, it's how much you can save, right? Here's a book they have over here where I'm on that topic, and I just want to go one last thing. Uh, it says it'll be 100, 101 free money-making apps. And when you click it on, I clicked it on, it will take you to the um, Amazon website, of course. And it's a Kindle book, and it's for 99 cents. It's 100, 101 free money-making apps. You can check it out uh, if you get if you want to, you know, look into it. Well, while we're on the topic of saving, I hope you guys don't get upset with me. But I just want to share this with you. I did open up an eBay store. Um, for those who follow me on uh, Reseller News or my other, uh, you know, videos I've done in the past, I said that you know I would only, I really don't like to incur bills. But for me to open up a store, it was more beneficial and more cost-effective for me personally, folks. So I just want you to understand it's for me. I'm talking, speaking for myself. Now other people may uh, beg to differ. But uh, as far as like opening a store on eBay, but I decided to take that little, make that plunge and take that little investment, which is a very cheap investment. It's only costing $4.95 a month. And you get 100 free listings a month. I don't sell that much. I've cut back on a lot because my bills were getting too high. My insertion bills uh, for eBay, they were outpacing my sales. So therefore, I said I had to use, I had to strategize here and say which would be better for me, which will work for me, it would be more beneficial to me in the long run. And this store has basically what I need. It, do, it, do, it doesn't, have, it has enough bells and whistles for me to suffice my needs. So uh, I did open up a store. But I'm not here so much to talk about the store. I want to tell you about what's in the store. So if you guys talk, you know, you know I talk about savings. If you want to save even more money and you would kindly check out my store and see what I have to offer, I think I have, I think, a total of 78 listings right now. Um, I got little things of, you know, clothes, girls stuff. I got, like, uh, girls clothing, uh, little chachi things type of thing here. I had taken a lot of things off of eBay because, like I said, I was getting, my bills were getting too high. And uh, I said, let me work it out. Let me do something where, uh, you know, it would be beneficial, like I said earlier. And uh, this is what it came out to be. So far, I like it. I can't complain. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this here is because um, you could save money. Because I am accepting best offers. I am a top-rated seller, and I do offer, you know, I and I do offer good services for my potential buyers. So, you know, if you do see, I have another page. I'm not going to take too much time. But if you see, you know, you if you hit my site here. Um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. I have other things there as well. I will be listing more as I go along because I want to take advantage of the 100 free listings. So if you do see anything that you like here, don't let the price you know, you know, know, deter you. Uh, please make an offer, a reasonable one. And I have been accepting a lot of reasonable offers. So if you do see something that you like, uh, if you got the time, please drop, you know, you know, check it out. I'll drop a link below in the, uh, you know, my, my uh, video here, the comment section, and you could uh, check it out, you know. And uh, it goes by Shop RJ Piscini for great deals on eBay. If you want to look me up under the um, seller ID, it's right over here, Shop dash RJ Piscini dash four dash great dash deals. I know a lot of deals, a lot of dashes, right? The reason why I did that, folks, because if I didn't break it up like that, it'd be one continuous word, you know. Uh, so I figured, let me break it up so you know what I, what you're reading. You know, I mean, I I mean, well, common sense will tell you it'll be all one word, but it'll be all conjured together. You know, so I figured, let me break it up. Uh, I thought about changing the name, but you know what? A lot of people probably that are familiar with me, repeat buyers and stuff like that, they probably aware of the name and stuff like that. I kind of like building brand as far as that part goes. So um, I'm going to keep it that way. But anyway, guys. You know, it's that time. My name is Rich Bassini from rjbassini.com. Today is August 27, 2018. I hope you like the information I put out there. If you get anything from it, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. 
and please don't forget don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I put out new content you will be advised you know you'll be aware of when it comes out when it's available for you to check out I hope you keep coming back for more I hope you like the content I put out. I hope you get something out of it. If you want to see me talk about something else, or if you want to share some ideas with me, please do. Please leave some nice comments if you want to comment on anything. I do read and respond to my comments as long as they're nice. So please, don't hesitate. Thank you again. Until the next time, Rich Bassini signing off. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.